Hey, what's going on guys? Black Friday deals have officially been launched on AppSumo and they have a lot of really, really great plans and softwares that were previously taken off of AppSumo but will be available for this week. And one of those tools is Brainwork. So Brainwork is back on AppSumo. It is available until the 29th of November. So you wanna go ahead and grab this deal before it is expired because I don't think it's gonna be back. It was originally on AppSumo when it first launched to the public, but then came off of AppSumo and just had its regular monthly plan, but it is back for uh, Black Friday. So if you wanted to grab a lifetime deal, it starts at $79 and it gives you 40,000 AI generated words each month and you get up to two users uh, for that plan. If you wanted to upgrade, you can get the license tier two, $160 and this gives you 100,000 words uh, per month and five users and you can go all the way up to a license tier four, which is $400 one-time payment and this gives you 500,000 AI generated words each month and up to 20 users. And if you compare this to the regular monthly plan, you'll definitely be saving a lot of money in the long run because again, you're not paying monthly, you're paying one time and you're getting um, whichever amount of words included depending on the tier in which you buy. So it's definitely a good deal. You have eight days left at the time of recording this video. So if you wanted to grab Brainwork, if you missed out last time when it was available on AppSumo, I'll leave a link below this video for the lifetime deal. And if you're unfamiliar with Brainwork, it's an AI copywriter that's focused on creating high quality long form articles or blog posts. So they don't really have a lot of short form templates that you would find in other AI copywriters. They're mostly focused on generating articles and blog posts. In my experience, Brainwork is one of the most advanced and high quality AI copywriters that uh, write long form content. They have a really, really good team. They're always optimizing, they're always improving and upgrading their tool, and they're always adding new and exciting features. In order to get started with Brainwork, head over to the AI Writing Assistant, click on New Post, and the first thing that you wanna do is enter the phrase or the keyword in which you're trying to write about. So for instance, if you're writing a blog post about the best credit cards for traveling, you'd enter that keyword, and you can change the um, country in which you are writing that keyword for, and then click Continue and Brainwork will analyze this keyword and let you know um, if this is a good topic to write about. So we get a prompt here that this is a good topic that the Brainworks AI um, has been trained on this content so we should get good quality outputs. Next, you wanna select the keywords that you wanna include in your blog post. So our primary keyword is best credit cards for traveling, but we also wanna include some closely related keywords. So best credit cards, what is the best credit card for travel rewards? What is the best credit card for travel? You can also select what is the best business credit card for travels and so on. So you just wanna click um, and find the most uh, closely related keywords and you can also add any additional keywords that you would like to in this section. So if uh, any of the keywords which you wanna target isn't showing up in this section, you can add a custom keyword. And once you've selected your keywords, go ahead and click create. Now this is where you'll start constructing your long form article. So you can use the assistant on the right hand side here and it will make it very easy for you to um, get your blog post set up. So we can see our primary keyword, we can see our output length, we can see our tone, um, additional keywords and instructions. So if you needed to make any changes here or customize your output, you can change that here. So if you wanted to change your tone, you can change that. If you wanted to change the length of the output in which you get back, you, you can also change that in this section here. So the first thing what you wanna do is head over to the AI writing tools and you can choose whichever um, AI writing tool you wanna use. So if you wanna generate a title, you can generate a title um, for this specific article. So just hit title and then click generate. So it's gonna take the information which you entered at the beginning of this um, setup and give you a title for this article. Okay, so the seven best credit cards for traveling, the five best credit cards, uh, pretty basic, but um, usually titles are, so just choose whichever one you like the best. Next, if you want to generate an outline, just change this to outline and click generate. And if you're happy with this outline, you can use that, or you can also click generate more and you will be able to get more outlines um, for this specific output. So just read through these outlines and whichever one you like the best, just paste that onto your um, editor. So once you're finished with your outline, now you can generate a paragraph. So in order to generate a paragraph, you need to highlight 20 to 300 characters that you want the AI to write a paragraph about. Up to one sentence is recommended. So for instance, so for instance, if you wanted to write about this specific credit card, we can highlight that and click generate. But I find in order to get better content, you can uh, give better prompts. So for instance, instead of just having the credit card uh, name, let's add what is this credit card. So once you um, add some prompts here, highlight that and click generate. And as you can see, we get some content here that we can use. Now, this obviously isn't uh, very long 
in terms of what we would need for an, a full length article or blog post. So I would either recommend using this prompt on the right hand side or what you can do is you can just highlight that specific um, section here and then click paragraph on the uh, prompt that comes up on the actual editor. So as you can see, we got a couple sentences here, but if you want to add more uh, content, you can click the AI write more and we should be able to get some more content related either to that specific um, section or uh, sometimes the AI goes off on a little bit of a tangent and writes uh, on some different content, but it's usually always related. So you can either um, remove that if you think it's irrelevant or you can add it into a different section of your article that makes the most sense. So for instance, we've got some content about what is the best credit card for foreign travel? What is the best credit card for traveling with children? What is the best credit card for traveling on a tight budget? What is the best credit card for traveling solo? So. So even though we really didn't get any content related to these specific credit cards, we got a lot of other relevant content that we can use within this article. So if you're not getting a lot of content, you can change your output length to longer, which would um, allow the AI to write more content for your article. So let's try this again. Let's highlight that um, specific credit card and hit paragraph. Okay, so we got some content here. Let's try to highlight the last couple of sentences and see if it continues writing um, on this section. Another way in which you can generate content using Brainwork is by using their commands. So they also have a commands included um, that's kind of similar to Jasper AI commands. So essentially all you have to do is write a command and the AI will read that command and give you the output based upon what you command. So for example, I can tell the AI to write a pro and cons list of the best credit cards for travel and just hit um, the more button and hit command and the AI should be able to read that and write a paragraph for us. Okay, so as you can see, it uh, chose one of the credit cards in which we have within this article, and it gave us a pro and a cons list um, for this specific credit card. So pretty cool feature included there. Um, I like that there's a lot of different ways in which we can get content using Brainwork. Um, it's not just one or th two methods, it's a, a variety of methods in which you can follow. So again, to generate content, you can highlight that content, hit paragraph, or you can hit the listicle style, which will give you a listicle style um, output. You can also rephrase any content in which you would like to. And if you click more, you can use the Brainwork commands. You can summarize your content. Um, you can create AI generated steps, or you can check for plagiarism. On the right-hand side of AI writing tools will be your keywords. So first you'll see your primary keyword, which is um, the keyword in which you set up for this article. So best credit cards for traveling. Below that will be your related keywords. And then below that will be the top questions in which you've included within this article. So you can take a look at these top questions. Um, if you haven't included them within your article, then you can always add that in there. But I believe this is pulled from what you've already written in this left-hand side here. So this just gives you a nice little summary of the um, keywords of the questions um, that you need to include within your article. And below that will be your top post. So you'll see what content is ranking first, second, third, um, up to number 10th on Google for that specific keyword. And to the right of keywords is your SEO score. So this is an SEO analyzer that will give you a score between zero and 100, the higher the number, the more optimized your content is. So this gives you again, a nice snapshot of optimization tips in which you need to make in order to increase the likeliness of ranking on the first page of Google for this article. So we can see our SEO score, we can see the SEO analyzer. It tells you if you have your keyword in title, if your keywords in your introduction, the keyword density, title length, and so on. And you can also set a featured image for this article. In addition to the long form assistant, you also have a plagiarism checker. So you have a built in plagiarism checker that will allow you to check your content very quickly to see if it is plagiarized. So all you have to do is highlight that content and click check for plagiarism. And it will let you know if there's any plagiarized content that was found. So very, very uh, convenient, very easy to use and allows you to check your content right within Brainwork. Also built into Brainwork is a keyword research tool. So you can actually go ahead and start doing some keyword research. And as we can see, this is powered by SEMrush. So you can trust the quality of data in which you're getting back. So just enter the keyword in which you're trying to do some research about. Uh, click search. And as you can see, you'll get a nice overview of that keyword. You'll be able to see the volume, the competition level, the difficulty, the trends for that specific keyword, some keyword ideas as well. So some related keywords and some variations of that keyword in which you searched up. 
you'll also be able to see some top questions that people ask about that specific keyword and the top 10 ranked post for that keyword. So if you don't have access to a keyword research tool, this will be a very uh, good tool in which you can use to help you get some uh, overview for a keyword before you go out and start creating content. So overall, a lot of really useful and very, very easy to use features included in Brainwork. I would highly recommend grabbing this lifetime deal before it expires. In my opinion, Brainwork is one of the best long form AI copywriter in the market. So I would highly recommend grabbing this lifetime deal before it expires. As always, I hope that you enjoyed this video and I hope that you learned something new. If you did, don't forget to give us a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Until next time, stay well.